हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडेज प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वी हैव टू प्रूव रूट टू इज नॉट ए रेशनल नंबर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू प्रूव रूट टू इज एन इेशनल नंबर सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ आवर प्रूफ फर्स्ट वी एज्यूम इफ पॉसिबल रूट टू बी अ रेशनल नंबर we have to prove here root 2 is not a rational number but in our proof we assume that root 2 is a rational number if root 2 be a rational number then we can write root 2 as a upon b where the condition of this fraction are as a and b belongs to z where z represents the set of all integers also the denominator number b can't be equal to 0 and the third condition is that the gcd of a and b is equal to 1 that means both numbers are coprime so from this equation if we square both sides then we get 2 into b square is equal to a square we can write it as 2b into b is equal to a square if we assume this as a constant then b divides a square also as a is an integer so b also divides a for this to understand we take an example let b is equal to 2 and because a is an integer so we can take a as 1 2 3 4 dot 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 up to infinite numbers if we take a square as 16 then 2 also clearly divides 16 then 2 also divides root of this number which is 4 also if we assume a square as 4 then 2 also divides root of this number which is 2 so i hope you understand this let this is equation number 1 chuki sorry since b is greater than 1 and it is an integer so by fundamental theorem of arithmetic which is abbreviated as fta fundamental theorem of arithmetic which states that any integer greater than 1 can be expressed as product of primes there exist a prime say small p such that small p divides the integer b let this is equation number 2 then from 1 and equation 2 we can see that p divides b and here b divides a so p also divides a 1 and 2 implies that p divides a this is equation number 3 now equation number 2 and from equation number 3 we can see that the prime p divides both the integers b and a simultaneously but here we assume that the 
num integers a and b are co prime so this is a contradiction any prime can't divide both integers simultaneously because one is the single element which divides both integers a and b so this is a contradiction this is a contradiction so our assumption that is root 2 is an ir irrational number is wrong so our assumption that root 2 is a rational number is wrong and hence we can conclude that root 2 is an irrational number so i hope all of you understood this theorem so that's it for today thank you